Lee Smith and Nicole Smith from Blood and Iron Martial Arts here today to talk to you about the similarities in different weapons. When training with a broad spectrum of weapons, one has to keep in mind the concepts are similar. You are using the same body and the same laws of physics apply. Take for example delivering an effective cut. When using the longsword, I still want to rotate the sword, engage the power of the hips, and deliver the cut using the strength of your whole body. When using the messer, the same rules apply. Hip engagement, blade rotation, edge alignment, all of these things just with one hand. So next, we're going to discuss a very simple technique, the constrainment into a thrust. Basically, placing the strong of your weapon over the weak of your opponents, getting your point online, creating a strong structure, and moving forward. You'll see the same concept applies to both weapons. Whether you're using a polearm or a rapier, the base concept of the disengage is the same. When pressure is applied to either weapon, you will disengage to regain the initiative. The goal behind the rapier disengage is to create a strong constraint, create a wedge with which to thrust. The goal behind the polearm is a knocking action using the extra leverage from the second hand. Even when using weapons which are very different, often techniques are applied when using the same principles. The principle at work here is to move aggressively into your opponent's attack and break their structure by pushing their arm offline. The type of devices you want to perform will depend on the martial system that you study. Certain things will work better or worse depending on what you pair them up with. Often, often the techniques found in the manuscripts are designed, especially within a system, to work with each other. If you just take a, a technique from a different system and dump it into another, you may have disastrous results. Regardless of what you're trying to do, delivering effective cuts, having a well-balanced stance, and being able to move fluidly are all assets. This only works, though, if you can put it all together. After all, if you don't have your body behind your strikes, just dancing around quickly really has no is nothing. Now this is a lot of work, but for now we hope you've enjoyed learning a little more of what sword fighting actually looks like.